guys it's shell from tic tacs and diamond wax also known as east coast crafter how are you today i just received my diamond art club last saturday's release so i got two for you plus i got one i haven't opened from last the week before we have <laughs> we have hannah lynn's evil queen I have never done a Hannah Lynn. I'm actually so excited. And then, please forgive me, Sarah Richter, but Nahimana? Nahimana? You're gonna have to help me on that one. And one more, if we can get to it. It would be Ina Morte, The Wild Woods. This is actually from, I think, three weeks back now but it has some fairy dust in it and she's gorgeous. So if we can have time, we'll get to her too. All right. So let's crack in. We know this is a square painting due to the fact that there is a blue square on it and there's a blue line across the top. And we have our artwork right here and we know it's Evil Queen by Hannah Lynn. It's a square. It is a 14.9 by 23.3 inches or 37 by 8 by 54. So that's a good size. Not too, too big. Not too, too small. And we know that we have how it works with Diamond Art Club. Our kit contents. If we flip the box again, we have a scan to take 10% off our next purchase. So let's dig in. How are you guys doing today? You good? the weather where you are. It's not too, too bad here today. It's warmer than what it was. No, no, I'm just waiting because I'm supposed to have, I ordered one of those um, forever tips too, the Dimer single place tips, but it looks like they sent it in a separate package and it didn't show up with this, which I kind of thought was sort of silly, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. don't do that now. Okay, our toolkit is showing right in there, isn't it? Oh, there we go. And there we go. Alrighty. So, of course, we have our Diamond Art Club bag. Do it makes you sparkle. Oh, I cut part of the bag off. That's alright. We have our sticker, which is Eel Queen by Hannah Lynn. I love how she does the outline of her work. Like the dark outlines in her work is so, so pretty. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. If I'm gonna put them on my boxes or if I'm just gonna keep them for my um, log book. I haven't quite decided. All right, so we know when we get a diamond art club, obviously, the difference between a square and a round is tweezers. With a square, we get tweezers and a round, we do not. And there's only three variables in the toolkits besides the tweezers or not. And that is the color of our pen, the color of our washi tape, and our cover minder. Those are the only three things that are going to be different in each toolkit. Or unless you do get an older toolkit, you may not get a cover minder and washi tape. But I think that's pretty rare nowadays not to get. Let's see if we can hide some of I have never had this pen color before. That's me. Oh, come on now. Get out of there. I just want to. Alright, that is our tool kit. You get a generous amount of bags. Not usually enough to kit up with, but a generous amount. They happen to be one of my favorites, as you can tell. Um, I like these for just my general purpose. I do use Star Ore for my drill storage, but I do like these for just general purpose. I find it really good. All right, we have a very, very fluorescent pen today with a yellow squishy. That's actually kind of, I've never had that one. That's kind of neat. All righty, and we have our lovely tweezers. These now are excessively, excessively sharp. You can hurt yourself quite badly if you do not keep this on. I did, it got infected. These are branded with Diamond Art Club, which is a very nice touch when you're paying the amount of money that we're paying for them. Every little thing that they do extra is really appreciated. If you do have small children, please keep these out of reach of them. They could get severely hurt by them. We are going to get a four placer and a seven placer thin plastic. 
Now I usually just run it over my hand to see. Sometimes they do have a little bit of a edge on them. If they do, just take a nail file and just lightly run it over and that will fix it right up. And as over time, if you notice that you're starting to wear some edges in again, just take your nail file and go over top. You'll be okay. And they're still good to go. And these, if you are new to diamond painting, these just can go in the end of your pen. This pen is perfectly acceptable to diamond paint with. There is no problem doing that. So if you are new, you do not have to go out and spend a lot of money on something really over the top. You can get by with that. We got Arcadia Wax. Now this wax is superior if you are new to regular pink wax that you would get with, say, a budget kit. This is actually quite nice wax. Now, I never did like wax. I was a tweezer person, even on my rounds. So, wax converted me, and this was one of them. Now, if you notice, there is a slight piece of plastic over top of the wax. Pull that back before you try and stab your pen into it. Otherwise, you'll be there all day, and you'll be frustrated. And when you're not using your wax, you want to make sure to put the cap on, just so air does not dry it out on you. And then we have our tray. This is a plastic tray. It's actually got fairly deep edges on it. I wish they were a tad deeper, but they're still really good. And it has a stopper. So if this is not in your tray when you get it, this is not garbage. It actually is for a purpose. Most of us that have been diamond painting a long time though, we don't use the stoppers because we have learned that we use the palm of our hand when we shake our trays and we sort of cup the tray with our hands. But some people I'm sure still use their stoppers. All right, and we get a cover minder. Oh, what's that? We get a funky drill with something. We got a clear drill. I've never seen a clear drill before. We get a cover minder. A cover minder, we got a macaroon. If you're wondering what a cover minder is, it does have magnets on the back, and it has two of them. One on here, and one right here. What you do with a cover minder is it goes, this goes under your canvas, this goes on top of your plastic. Do not place this piece on your canvas itself, okay? Place it on the plastic. What you'll do is you pull your plastic back and then you put that down and it holds in place for you. If you don't like to do it that way and use cover papers, you can also put this off to the side and just have something nice sitting by your diamond painting while you're sitting there. And we get washi tape. Oh, this one's unique. I have never seen this one before. It has orange slices all over. It's kind of pretty. Kind of pretty, I must say. Hmm. All right, now to get into the good stuff. Ooh, let's get the craft knife closed and out of the way so we don't have any accidents. Now, you do get it in a dust cover, which is really nice for storing your paintings in. I strongly suggest you keep your dust covers. Um, you can also store, if you don't want to keep your boxes, you can place the sticker on your bag and just store your painting that way, and then you'll know which one's in the bag instead of having to unroll it all the time. But I do strongly suggest you do keep the dust covers. Um, I feel sort of an injustice to call this canvas. It's not the canvas that we're used to when we first start diamond painting, unless you jump right into the higher end companies. To me, when I first felt it, I was like, oh my God, that is a something. All right, we'll take our bag. And so the canvas, I believe, is trademarked through Diamond Miracle, but I believe it's called Tarpitin. Um, it's so soft and luxurious. It is really nice to diamond paint on, and it's really hard to go back to regular canvas afterwards. It is scalloped and seared along the edges so that we ensure that it will not fray at any point in time. All right, we are going to just pull the center over there and we're gonna cut that to the side, no peeking. Now, because this is poured glue, we can roll it backwards. We wanna do that gently though, okay? We don't wanna be, we can be aggressive, but I try not to be with my canvases. I'm very gentle to with them, but you can be more aggressive with them. They will not be damaged in any way. While we have the canvas like this, we're just going to look at the bottom. So we have our thumbnail right here. We have the Evil Queen. We have our dimensions, which is a 
by 54. It is by Hannah Lynn and it is re registered to Diamond Art Club. Now what this means is that Diamond Art Club made sure that Hannah Lynn was paid for this to be made into a diamond painting. Extremely important. Even if you're going to show budget paintings on your channels, you should ensure that you are at least giving the artist credit for that art. Um, they also would like to see um, on social medias, either through Facebook or Instagram, how you're progressing and what your finished piece of work look, look like. Also, they give you a, for your next purchase, a discount code, another discount code beyond that one. We're doing pretty good here. And all canvases come with a lifetime warranty. So what that means is if you accidentally spill up to eight bags of your drills, Diamond Art Club will replace it. It's called Oops Insurance. All right, it does happen. We've all had it happen. Now, anything over eight but under, I believe it's half of the amount of drills that are in your kit will be a nominal fee. If it is over a certain percentage of drills that are dropped, they will give you 50% off to repurchase an entire kit. So you cannot just buy a full sleeve of drills. Um, you do need to, you can only replace so many of them. But if you have any problems or if you spill any drills or you have any issues with your canvas whatsoever, you just contact support at diamondartclub.com and they'll get with, right back to you. All right, let's roll it out. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy jumping jeepers. I'm going to turn her this way just because the way my setup is, we're probably going to get a better, a better shot of her. So we have the branding on the top. Do I make you sparkle diamond art club? Over here on our left hand side, we have a legend and we also have one on our lower right hand side. So that's really nice because no matter where you are in your painting, you will be able to see there is a large amount of color blocking right here. And there's quite a bit down here, but there's going to be a lot of confetti in between. Or if you're really good with a multi-placer, you're probably going to be able to do both fairly easily together. But yes, she is stunningly beautiful. All right. So we have a thank you from the founder of the company, Angie, which is really sweet. We thank you too, Angie, for getting us addicted to this craft. What's included in your kit is right here, and it's also in three different languages. You get your tips and tricks for, you also have another discount code. You will never pay full price for a Diamond Art Club painting. If you have never purchased from them before, there are plenty of people on YouTube that have special codes for your first time purchase. So you're unable to get a better deal than what you're already gonna get. All right, then if you if this is your first time, you just scan this QR code and it takes you to a video with step-by-step -step tricks, tips or tricks, tips and tricks probably too. You also wanna scan this QR code here. That is their VIP Facebook group. Now, if you're if you bought this through Diamond Art Club and your name on there is different than the one on Facebook, you're going to want to contact support and let them know so that they can correlate the two and make sure that you get into the group. Um, there is always a discount code in the VIP Facebook group, so that's another discount code that you can get to use. And then we get our step-by-step -step instructions again in three different languages, which is great. So that's uh, everybody's lovely thing to get. Now, the really great thing with Diamond Art Club is you get this. This is a nice big sticker. Isn't she pretty? Oh my gosh. Yeah, and you can use this one for your logbook if that's what you choose to do with it. Um, so it's the Evil Queen by Hannah Lynn. It gives your start, your end date, your size, and the shape of the diamond, which happens to be square. And it also has your um, skew number there. And each one of these is a sticker which is great because when kidding up, it makes it a lot easier. And then you have some extras there too. So when you, so we know anything under 150 with Diamond Art Club is going to be an AB or an Aurora Borealis. This just has an extra coating over top of the diamond. It makes it sparkle even more than the ones that are already in it. 
and sometimes it's really hard to tell the difference because they sparkle pretty good. Now, if there were special drills in this kit, they would be at the bottom of this list. If there was fairy dust, electro, iridescence, and things like that. So we'll take a quick peek. Oh, and we have two. Two. So that means there are five. So our ABs are 107, 119, 134, and 141. 141 is white. So anywhere that you see white, that's where that AB is going to go. We're going to go over them a bit more closely, but I'm just going to give you an idea. This apple is all red ABs. Her eyes are going to have the purple AB in them, and so will parts of her hair. And the green that's in here, that's another AB. So I'm curious, what is L783 and Z782? I am thinking we got some goodies. So let's take a look. The nice thing is if you store your canvases and your drills separately with that marker, they put these on here so that you can match up your drills easy without too many problems to match it up. My suggestion, every once in a while, go back and cross-check these two to make sure that you haven't misplaced anything. If your craft room looks like mine, it's probably bad. Alright, let's get open into these. Oh my goodness gracious. There's so many. Where's the opening? I think that'll be a little bit better. Let's open the bottom. And let's take a look before we do anything else. Look at the colors and look at those diamonds. <gasps> oh my gosh. Now, right off the bat, I see three bags of the lovely green den. That doesn't scare me though, because if I'm an art club, I'm not too concerned that those are going to be bad quality. Um, I did my first square that actually was a diamond art club. And it was so easy and came out so beautifully. I had done them before in the past and did not like them. So I stayed with rounds. But they have now converted me to a square girl. Alright, let's see here. There is our Z782. So that is number four. Oh, I'm sorry. There's 45 colors in this. So this is number 45. And it's going to be a Y. So... I'm going to move this out of the way, and that's going to be up in here, this area right here. So that's a fairy dust. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Let's see. It's just got a, a gold dust coating over the drill that makes it so pretty. Alright. Oh, I see other 3371. Three, I see this. Oh, sorry, there's four bags of 310 and two bags of 3371. That's a lot. Oh my goodness gracious. I was going to say that looks like an AB, but it's not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guess what? L783, which is number 44. Look at that baby. We have an electro. That's the symbol U. The symbol U is going to probably go right up in here. So that is going to be stunning. So that will be stunning. Then I see a red AB. That's our apple. Isn't that gorgeous? Now. Now, like I said, sometimes it's hard to tell which ones are the ABs and which ones aren't because they're all really, really shiny. Oh, I think there's more AB or more 310 than I actually thought. There might be five bags or six. Got it. We are looking for, sometimes I find it easier to do it this way. There is the green AB for our apple. Look at that coating on there. Isn't that pretty? No, not for the apple, I'm sorry. That's the green AB. It's going to go right in here. Above our apple. That's what I meant to say. Okay. And there is our white AB. So anywhere that you see white spot, that's the AB. And we hang up. One more. One more. One more. Where are you? 
if it's going to be a pink or purple. So let's be seeing where you are. Or did we already find her? I don't think so. Oh gosh. There is a lot of girls in here. So there's the one, two, Three, four. Oh, she's right there beside that one. There's our purple. And that's going right in her eye. And right through here, and through here, and a bit here, and somewhere here. So that is going to add some beautiful, beautiful accents. So oh, I know some people are curious, so let's just take a peek without trying to destroy this entire thing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six bags, three ten. Six bags of three ten all and two bags of thirty-three seventy-one. Yes, you heard it here first. Crazy, crazy, what are we thinking? We're taking it on. All right, let's just put that off to the side so we can get into the other one before my dinner is ready. All right, so this is a round painting. Oh, we've got some glare now, don't we? This is a round painting, and this is by Sarah Rector, and this is Nehemina. I think that's how you say it. I thought it was the most stunning image I have ever seen. Now it is a round, and so that was the difference. The blue square showed it was a square, the pink shows around. We also have this pink line right here, and this is by Sarah Richter, like I said, and it's around, it's a 20 by 20, so a 50.7 by 50.7. And again, the boxing is the same, same codes, back's the same. This is just a longer box than the other one. So let's crack this baby open. Oh, there we go. I have ones that I still haven't opened in my closet that are in my stash that I know. Now, when you do get a, a diamond art club delivery, you should open them. They do suggest that you open them and take a look at the contents just to make sure that in case something did go wrong, that they can fix it right away. Sometimes if you wait too long, um, the painting could be um, not being made anymore. And if you have the wrong painting, you'd probably be pretty upset with that. Alright, let's get her open. The sun is starting to really come out now here. Always does right in the evening, doesn't it? Oh, a tool kit. I guess the tray wanted out. Now, with Diamond Art Club, these are hand charted paintings. They actually have artists that sit there and pick these colors. Thank goodness they do, because they turn out so gorgeous. So, again, it comes in this beautiful dust bag. And that is our artwork. Isn't she stunning? I don't know, there's something about her that was just so pretty. And I thought, oh, I gotta have her. Gotta have her. Alright, let's see what's in our toolkit. Now we're not gonna have the tweezers like we did on the last one. But we do want to see what we got for our cover minder and our washi tape. I'm looking to see what. Oh, oh, I kind of gave away it. That one was right away, didn't I? Again, we got another yellow pen that I've never had before, and I got them two in one day. Cool. That's our stopper. We got our bag of eggies and everything else. Love it, love it. And we've got flowers. I've had this one before. I don't. You don't get too many that are repeated unless you purchase a whole lot. And then we have a beautiful rose. Now, if your cover minder comes and the magnet has fallen off, just use a little quick glue, hold it down, and it'll be fine. Sometimes during transport, it can get bunged around a bit. Alrighty. Let's see what she looks like. I bet she's gorgeous. I bet she's coming. 
Maybe what I'll do is for the other one, I will pull out a bunch out of my stash that I haven't checked yet that I should. And I will film another video tonight of a whole bunch of them. Let's get all those nasty things out of the way so we don't have any problems. My table might not be big enough for her. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, my goodness gracious. Now, Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening. So, if I was just to leave this out, within probably 20-30 minutes, it would flatten itself. You can roll it back on itself, like I said, or you can peel back. Do not fully remove this unless you plan on nev never putting it back on. And then just take your hand and push it back down again. Anything that you see there, that's just air bubbles that I'll get out afterwards. But isn't she stunning? Look at that face. Oh my gosh, she was gorgeous. And again, we have our branding at the top. We have our lifetime warranty. We have our social media. We have 26 colors in this one. And we have three ABs. 103, 115, and 141. So 141 is going to be white. So anything that you're seeing white, that is going to be our white. So if there is some color block. There's quite a bit of color blocking in this one. What we'll do is we'll move her over. And I'll just let you see the troll field if we can. This is around. So the, the guide circles are very, very faint. So you won't have any issues covering up those symbols or anything. But very cleanly done, as always. Very clean. I didn't show you the drill field on the other one. But down that clip you don't really have to worry the drill fields are so well done again just our thank you books we always like that wow there we go yes sir Richter I swear to god you are one hell of an artist Nahima now and then we have lots of extra stickers on this one but we're getting lots of glitter now aren't we sorry about that and she is round. She's pretty. And again, the name is on our drill sewing so now. Alright, let's take a peek at our drills. Now, I've heard that Diamond Art Club even has upgraded their round drills. And supposedly, they're even better than what they were before. I don't know how you get much better when you're pretty much perfect already. But, alright. So, there is our color palette for her. So this one is going to be fairly dark. Um, most of the paintings that I do do are more on the darker side of things. I do like Ennis Guerrero a lot, so I tend to sort of sway to that genre. I do see three, two big bags of 310. Nope, sorry, three I was right the first time. So they they look incredible though. And the one thing I love with them is that you don't ever see a lot of trash in the bag. Now, if you see the odd bit of trash, that's actually quite normal when you're looking at resin drills. So what we do, we want to look for ABs. Yes, we do. Oh, and I see one right there. There's a beautiful red. Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful red. So that is going to be... Number number one or number that's number two. So that is going to be right in this area up here. And some over here. Yeah. Okay, and then we have one more. We have our white. So anywhere that you see white, again, that's gonna be an A B. And we should have that one right there. 103 is a almost a coral color. And that we are going to find. I just saw it and I lost it. We're going to find it in here also. So it's quite light. But we're going to find. No, that's a one, sorry. We're gonna find it near her eye. No, let me see, where is it? I'm getting my numbers mixed up now. 
Where are we? Oh, I think we are probably looking right over here. Right over here and right over here. So yeah, we've got those a scattered one right near her face right here. So we've got our threes, which is our white. So we've got lots of white that's going to be coming through. And you could always add more to this if you so choose to do so. Um, I know that You Can Call Me Butter is really good to watch if you want to learn how to bring up a painting. She is fantastic at it. Um, she has a definite eye for color. I believe she's a makeup artist, if I'm not mistaken. And so she is fantastically talented. And so that is definitely someone that can give you some suggestions on bringing up art. Um, I do think she also offers a service. You can, if she has the painting in her stash, she will um, chart the colors for you. And I'm not sure how much she charges to do this. And let you know what ABs you would need. Or you can send her your painting and she will chart where ABs go and then send it back to you. So she does do that service, which is awesome. I'm sure she doesn't get much time to diamond paint herself if that's the case, but yeah. So this is Miss Sarah Richter's Nehemina. Isn't it gorgeous? I love her lips. Her lips are just stunning looking. And it's funny, when you look at a canvas, Sometimes I almost suggest you look at it through the, your camera and because you can look at this and you sort of go, oh, it's not like what I expected until you look through your camera and you see a totally different picture come alive. It's absolutely stunning. And so thank you, Diamond Art Club, for another wonderful, wonderful release. I'm so excited to get these started, but I have to finish. Judy Bergsma's Friendship First, because that one is got me entangled, and I'm loving every second of it. So, I hope you all have an amazing evening. Thank you so much for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. I will get into more about myself in future videos and probably past videos. Um... But I really, truly look forward to getting to know you. I'm doing a ton of giveaways. I have a lot of stuff to give away, guys. And so I can't wait till we can spend more time together. I will be doing another video of paintings that I haven't opened that are new releases um, later tonight. And hopefully I'll get that up for you right away so we can peek into those ones too. All right, guys. Have a wonderful evening. And thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Have a great night.